Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Peter Beats here from Pop Turnus, Peter Darren and Suzanne about the Fairly Odd Parents Fairly Otter, which is premiering on Paramount Plus March 31st. Thank you both for your time. Thank you. Oh, uh, this is, I mean, I don't know if we can name a better duo than Cosmo and Wanda. I think we just have to leave it at that, right? <laughs> like, this is, uh, it's an honor and privilege to be speaking with both of you. Thank you very much for your time. Um, Suzanne, I'm just curious, what can you tell me about the early kind of stages of this series in terms of your knowledge of what was going on? Did you know it was live action? Did you know Cosmo and Wanda were coming back as the cartoons? Like, what did you know about it specifically well, early on? Uh, what I knew about the, uh, the show early on, I had just read about it or heard about it on the radio and said, good luck to those people who are playing <laughs> Wanda and Cosmo. <laughs> <laughs> and then out of the blue, a uh, few months later, uh, was offered it. And it's always been such a delight to do these characters. And that guy, Darren, is it's so great to work even if we weren't in the same room together again. Darren, it's, it's one of the, and I said this, not you, I mean, like, this is one of the greatest cartoons of all time. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it, it, it got me through a lot of tough times in, the, in, the, in high school and elementary school as well. Um, I'm curious what your mindset is where Cosmo and Wanda are back, but new characters, you know, we're in Dimsdale, but kind of new, it's, it's, a, it's a whole different show. So what's that kind of mindset like, diff- like new characters? Like, what's that like for you and, and uh, like coming into the show? I'm curious about that. I think that bringing these characters into, an, into the same town, but a new world, a new experience yep. is a really clever way to reinvent and revitalize this. Mm-hmm. Uh, because we get to we get to be the same. Cosmo, yeah. I, I'll this is a, a spoiler alert. He's no smarter, he's not any brighter. He's just as loud. Uh, but I, I think it's a very clever uh, take on this. And as Suzanne said, I had no expectation of being involved in this iteration, and here we are. And it just it. It, it, you, you just start levitating off the ground when I know that I get to work with Suzanne again and we get to revisit these characters whom we absolutely love and adore. Yeah, You know, because I've, I've, I've had a chance to watch two episodes and, you know, from someone that grew up watching it, Suzanne, there's this the jolt of excitement and energy when you see Cosmo and Wanda for the first time in a new series as the goldfish again. You're kind of like, oh, man, like, <laughs> it's like a full circle moment. I feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's so crazy. It's really interesting as well. You look at there's been so many characters in Fairly Odd Parents. You know, characters that show up <laughs> like three seasons later. It's like, oh yeah, they're back. You know what I mean? Um, Suzanne, I'm just curious. You know, we will see some familiar faces as well that are going to show up, and we're going to hear about them and everything. Um. But is it cool kind of to look back and see, you know, you voice Wanda, but there's been there, like, it's a big universe, the Fairly Odd Parents universe. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, um, it's it's really fun also to see um, the characters in the flesh, these characters. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how Timmy got through college, spoiler alert, but <laughs> he did. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it, and uh, in this iteration, you have all the singing and dancing and still the, the same vibrant colors and pace of the original series and great, funny writing. Um, I had to learn some new hip words that <laughs> I had no idea what they were talking about. Google, Google. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Darren, I'm curious what, what it was like doing it with the original Fairly Odd Parents as well, because you voice different characters on the show. And I'm obviously Cosmo is kind of the focal point a lot. And you, most of your work was with Cosmo. Like, what was, was that always seen as like, was that seen challenging at times? Or was it just like the overwhelming, exciting ta- excitement taking over with that as a challenge? I think it was, it was more excitement. And again, as an actor, it's like, I get to do this now? Mm-hmm. Right on. 
uh, and nobody's telling me to tone it down. <laughs> 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 I get to be as big as I could possibly be, uh, which is great fun. You never have, you rarely have that freedom. As and, an you know, you worked on live action Nickelodeon shows yes, before. Yes. Now you're a cartoon in this one. I mean, you're, you're Gordy in Ned's Class by School Survival Guy, which is like, that was that was the show for me. That was like my favorite non-cartoon Nickelodeon. Like it's great. That's a cool thing, though, right? Now being a cartoon in a live action, it's it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, it it still knocks me out. The the great opportunities that I've had, the great people that I've had the pleasure to work with. Some of us for decades. <laughs> hey, Suzanne. Uh, uh, this is the great fortune I've had uh, as an actor, as a performer. To uh, to get to play in both of those sandboxes, I mean, seriously, it, it's it's a dream come true. Fingers crossed the Timmy's dad Dinkelberg rivalry continues on because it's one of the most <laughs> underrated rivalries of all cartoons of all time. Curse <laughs> Dinkelberg, the greatest thing ever. <laughs> now there's a character I would like to see come back in the Paramount Plus episode. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Turner. fingers crossed, Suzanne. Oh, I wonder he's probably eighty, <laughs> <laughs> like I me. <laughs> Suzanne, it's interesting because the reason why I brought up the Dingleberg is there's so many different clips and like there's no shelf life for Fairly Odd Parents because it kind of resurfaces because of social media. Is that something like you've been noticed and you kind of accepting like day after day that I mean, Cosmo and Wanda, I don't think are like ever going away. <laughs> you know I mean? um, well, it's it's a true gift to have this back in my life. And uh, I think they it, it you don't want them to go away because there's there are people who grant wishes and they yeah. make mistakes all the time <laughs> so <laughs> i think any kid can kind of uh uh associate themselves with it wanting to just get that superpower you know a hundred percent Darren, was there, was there any kind of conversations? Because, you know, in the original cartoon, there's so many things that we kind of found out about Cosmo and Wanda. You know, like like, like Wanda's addiction to chocolate was like what I always remember. I'm just curious, was there like any conversations where it's like, oh, that episode where, where Cosmo did this, maybe we can like bring that back. Like, what were those kind of conversations? Like maybe bringing back like certain kind of things that happen in Fairly Odd Parents to Fairly Odd, or I'm curious about that. Uh, I, I wish that I had a better answer for that question, <laughs> yeah. uh, because this was such a shock. It was so unexpected. Yeah. I didn't know what, uh, what to expect. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, but there, I mean, there, you're right. There are numerous examples of, of running jokes <laughs> and things we get to find out over as, as the series goes on and as they get to develop these characters. Uh, it's just, it's just a delight to be. To be back and in, in this new, uh, in this new really uh, reinvented universe of fairly odd parents, uh -huh. fairly odder. Absolutely. And before we wrap up, quickly, I do want to say I brought it up very quickly. I mean, you know, times are tough and everything, you know, uh, like for school, for me, you know, growing up, you know, there's a lot of things at school and bullying and everything. And shows like The Fairly Odd Parents really helped me through those tough times where I really needed it. So I just wanted to say, Darren, Suzanne, thank you for providing an escape and for being part of that, because I really, really appreciate that. And a lot of people appreciate that. But I just want to speak for me. Thank you for that. Seriously, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I guess we did something good. Oh, well, so kind of. <laughs> Darren and Suzanne, thank you both so much for your time. The Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Otter, Paramount Plus, March 31st. Thank you both for your time. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, PD. Thanks. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.